the east coast to the west coast we have a news alert to bring you right now we've got fox 11 los angeles's Stu mundell flying in their chopper this morning as a cliff rescue is underway out there in palos verdes california uh Stu, if you can hear me thank you for joining us can you tell us a little bit about what we've got going on here well, we got a cliff rescue out here in the Palos Verdes area, and you can see right there, it is a pretty steep cliff. And this is one of those areas where they have actually walkways out near right up to the edge of the cliff out there. Not sure how that victim fell, but he did fall quite a distance. You can see it right there. Those are the L.A. County firefighters. They're on that hillside. Now, there were many more paramedics that were down there just moments ago. They were actually repelled down before the helicopter arrived here on scene. The guy you see with that white helmet, now that's a paramedic actually from the helicopter. That's an LA County Fire Firehawk. Right now, that they, they dropped him down, and they worked with those paramedics that were down there, and they basically, what they called, packaged that patient, basically kind of stabilized them in enough that they could get him into a basket, and then they're going to pull that uh, paramedic and that victim up to the helicopter. Now, there is some discussion about where they're going to go after that. You can see him doing that up motion with his hand, so we'll probably see that winch start moving here shortly. Now, this is a very difficult type of situation for these rescuers. Lots of loose rocks, lots of dirt down there. That helicopter was basically what they call downwash, blowing a lot of air downward, knocking a lot of that stuff free. But there you go. You can see some of our finest L.A. County firefighters and rescuers right there working to pull this person right off the side of this cliff. Again, we don't know if they're going to land that helicopter, put them in an ambulance, or that helicopter is going to whisk them off to a local hospital. But again, this is a rescue happening out here in the Palos Verdes area. When a person fell off a cliffside, basically almost landing down there at the beach, it, the perspective might be a little off from the helicopter, but that's probably a good 300-foot drop. That's quite a distance. Uh, we know that that person is alive, but we don't much know uh, any more about that condition. But right now, that paramedic and that uh, victim going for a little ride on that hoist as they make their way up into that firehawk. There it is, and you can see our shoreline as well. Uh, again, the, there's rescue just happening out here in the Palos Verdes area. Yeah, now, Stu, can I ask you, is this a popular hiking area? How do we think that this person could have ended up in this location? You know, that's one of those questions that we always talk about up here. We never know how these people wind up in those situations like that. Uh, right now, Vinny, that's our cameraman. He's got that beautiful shot of them doing that rescue. But it's a park out there. There's a park at the top of that hillside. There are paths that actually take you down to the shoreline. Unclear if this person was up there, slipped and fell. They even don't know how long he's been there. It might have happened when the sun had not risen yet, maybe early morning hours, and he was just discovered earlier, uh, later on this in the morning. Right now, though, you can see that victim is basically hanging right there next to that helicopter. But it, they will bring him in. They're going to secure that paramedic, and then they'll bring him in. And then that helicopter, again, we don't know if they're going to rush him off to the uh, off to a hospital, which I think they're I think that's the plan now, or they're going to land that helicopter at the park. But again, this happens not frequently. But this is the first rescue we've seen out here. The Palos Verdes area is known for its beautiful vistas and views, and definitely known for its very, very steep hillsides. Okay, now, Stu, now for some viewers that are just tuning into our coverage, because this is really incredible video that we've got going on right now, do you mind just doing another round through of what we know about this situation? So you're saying that this single person uh, fell off a cliff and you're uh, anticipating about a 300-foot drop? Yes. Uh, go, Vinny, go back to the go back to the park. I'm working with our cameraman. Sorry about that. This is kind of like a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, the helicopter is making its way over to Harbor UCLA. That's where they're going to be taking that victim. So they're not landing here at the park, but giving the viewers an idea where this all happened. This is a park. This is going to be right off of Palace. Ver I'm sorry. This is going to be off of Paseo del Mar Drive near the cross of Ebbs. And you can see there's those pathways that take you down to that shoreline. Now, how that person fell this morning. That's unclear, but you can see what a treacherous fall that must have been. And those are the rescuers making their way back up to the top where their, uh, where their trucks are. Again, though, they used the helicopter. You saw it live here as they pulled that victim off that hillside. Those guys, they're going to have to repel up or actually use those cliffs. But they have a lot of safety equipment down there and a lot of backup if something happened to them. All right, well, Stu, uh, definitely some wild video that you and your team are grabbing for us right now. We really appreciate you joining us live this morning with this update. You and your team stay safe out there.
Thank you so much, and we always love you bringing you breaking news. Yes, live, raw, and unfiltered. This is what our show is all about, everybody. So as Stu was saying, uh, these are those local firefighters down on this cliff. Now, what we know right now, uh, this single person fell off of this cliffside. Stu uh, anticipating about a 300-foot drop. Now, how this rescue initially works, you can see that rope that is right next to that gentleman to the uh, top left-hand side of your screen kind of walking up. Up towards the cliff so they actually repel down secure the person get him in that basket that was that uh, basically black body bag looking fixture that they had on a rope pulling up to the helicopter they secure them in that basket and then they uh, really just like hoist them up up towards that shopper and you saw that effort uh, underway just a couple of moments ago here on live now from Fox. Now interesting to point out uh, you can see how steep this cliff is uh, lots of rocks lots of lots of dirt. It's uh, very difficult to remain stable up on this side of a cliff. So uh, the fact that that was such a swift rescue very incredible video to bring you here on a live now from Fox. It does look like they themselves the first responders are now trying to get back up to the top of that cliff. Again, this is live, raw, and unfiltered breaking news happening in the Palos Verdes area of California, courtesy of our Fox 11 Los Angeles Sky Fox team.